guys remember AOL chat rooms? Oh, that MSN Messenger, ICQ, the little flower, that was a good one. AOL Instant Messenger, Yahoo Messenger. Man, we've had a lot of different chat apps over the years. The ones we find today though are a little bit different and in this video I'm going to share with you guys what I think might be the most overlooked one in the enterprise. What's up guys, my name is Nick Howell. I am the Data Center Dude and thank you for joining me here on the channel for this video. By the way, before I get started, just wanna let you know that uh, I do stream live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can find a link in the description below over to twitch.tv slash Data Center Dude. Today I wanna to talk to you about messaging applications. In a bigger sense, communities. Because it's not just about chatting one-on-one -on -one or having a video meeting with, a, with your team. There's something that's missing right now, specifically in the enterprise tech space, and that's community. In the late 2000s, we had a very, very large community, mostly encircled around VMware and some of the major storage vendors that were out there, such as NetApp, EMC, HP, etc. And that's kind of gone. Everybody that was part of that community originally has now found their way, myself included, guilty as charged, into the vendors. And what that's done is, in a very large way, splintered the community to the point that I haven't really seen it recover the same way. It was nothing for me to wake up 10 years ago and have a hundred different blog posts to read from all of these different sort of evangelist types, whether they were EMC V specialists, uh, the group of us called the VTMEs over at NetApp, and that's not just specific to the vendors. This is the important takeaway that I want everybody to understand. Everybody's mostly at vendors now, and we've lost that sense of community, and we've, we're only hanging out with people that use our stuff for the most part. Now, I don't want to talk in absolutes here, but there's a big observation that I've made over the last few years that if you use Azure, you're only going to hang out in the Azure circles. You're not going to hang out in a cloud circle. If you are a person that does one thing on AWS or you do everything in AWS, you're not going to pay that much attention to what else is going around in the rest of the technosphere. So what I noticed that was missing was a community a larger meta community around technology. And that can be anything from the prosumer side of the world to gaming, to enterprise applications, databases, cloud storage, on-prem infrastructure, data center conversations like power cooling, cabling, all of that stuff. Man, it was just missing. So I went out and I did a thing. We have gone through the last 25 years, we've gone through any number of chat applications, messaging applications, forums and bulletin boards, all kinds of stuff. And where we've landed in the last four or five years is Slack and Teams. That's kind of about it. And here's my, my issue with them is that you, you kind of have to know where to go to ask to be invited to them. And even Teams is mostly locked within an enterprise. And for the most part, Slack too, if you're using it in a corporate environment, there's not a lot of external slacking going on that isn't hidden in some kind of underground. You can certainly find it on a Git page, GitHub page. You can find a link to a project such as the Kubernetes community and the SIGs, associated SIGs. I was missing that thing where it's sort of everybody is welcome. We have something in a place for everyone. So I went out and I built something and I did it on a, a platform that some of you might be familiar with because you're also gamers, but you might not think that it would work for enterprise or larger tech communities. Well, I'm here to tell you differently. I have built a very large tech community and a set of channels, both voice, video, and text-based chat called the Data Center Dude Tech Server, Tech Discord, whatever. I don't know that we have an official name yet, but I wanted to get it out there and get it launched because me and a handful of few other folks, about 20 of us, have gone in and soft launched this just to see how the channels are named, how we lay everything out, set up some rules, make sure it's secured because we wanted to get all of this, all of our ducks in a row to get 
this before we launch it. So right now we're looking at about, I think there's about 30 or so people in there. If this takes off, it could be thousands. But what I've noticed already and what I've observed is that people are communicating in multiple channels. People are having conversations about building computers and then in the other channel talking about how they do certain things in Azure. And then we have certain people that are having other types of conversations around gaming. Now this is absolutely just scratching the bare minimum of what this could be, but I'm very excited about this and I'm happy to invite officially all of you to come over and join us in the Data Center Dude Discord. It is going to be a very, very large community by the time things are all said and done. There's a lot of notifications you're going to have to adjust, but the, because <laughs> you all, if you use Slack or Teams or Discord or anything before, you know it's a, it's a notification frenzy. So nothing new to see here. You're going to kind of have to do the same thing, but I promise you it will be worth it. We're, we've put a lot of time and effort into the intricacy and the details of how we've laid things out everything's sort of a role-based architecture you've got meeting rooms if you want to do one-on-ones you've got conference rooms that you can live stream a presentation into so goodbye webinars you can just invite everybody into one of your larger conference rooms and present them right there if you wanted to have a conversation with a colleague that maybe wasn't over a corporate work uh, medium you know you could certainly drop in and do that in one of our two-person meeting rooms to do a one-on-one -on -one in that fashion the beauty of this is that it's sort of like a living organism, right? This is going to evolve over time as more people join and we track how people use this and take advantage of this. But my number one goal is to re-corral, bring everybody back together so that we can have one giant tech community all talking about all things. We're not having tit for tat, vendor versus vendors like we do on Twitter. Let's leave all that stuff on Twitter and LinkedIn. That's not what this is for. This is to bring all the technology just back together again and break us out of the silos that funny enough we talk about tech silos or well, we've fallen into some of our own so I, I hope this thing takes off this is my honest good old college try concerted effort of trying to you know break down barriers bring the whole tech community back together from cybersecurity all the way up to cloud and on-prem infrastructure and everything in between plus we're all working from home now so why not have some dedicated channels to you know pimp out your studio or your office uh, share Share your content. Uh, I have a channel dedicated specifically to sharing your blog posts, your videos, your live streams, anything that you're creating. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff over there. So make sure you find the link in the description below. Come on over to the Data Center Dude Tech Discord and uh, make sure you join us and have a fantastic time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give us a big old thumbs up and uh, make sure you jingle that notification bell so you get notified anytime we put up new content. We'll see you guys in Discord. Take care.